purpose of this video is to show you how to use the change of base rule for logs. So let's say we have a log that we need to evaluate, log base 3 of 48. You might think, oh, this is so easy. All I need to do is write an x here, and then I write 3 raised to the x power equals 48, and I solve it. But how do you solve this? I don't know of anything, uh, any whole number you could plug in for x that would give you 48 as your answer. There's got to be some kind of decimal or something like that, and that would be really, really difficult to figure out. So we have something called the change of base um, rule. And what it basically means is that, or what it says we can do, is we can take the log of the number where uh, the log of the number we're uh, evaluating, 48, and we're going to divide it by the log of the base. So the log of the base goes in the denominator. So just keep that in mind. That's pretty much always the case. It is always the case when you're using the change of base rule. So at this point, we're going to pull out our calculator and we'll type in what we know. Um, you should always assume also if it's written like this that there if it's written like this that the base is 10 okay for each one of these logs. So let's get that calculator out. The log on your um, calculator it says LOG that is base 10 also. So if I type in the number 48 and then log, I get a number like 1.68, da-da-da-da-da. And I'm going to divide that by the log of, um, oops. I'm going to divide that by the log of base 10 of 3. And then I always, I divide them on my calculator, I hit the equals button. Once you hit the equals button, which a lot of people forget, we're going to get a number like 3.52. So that means that 3 raised to the 3.52 power is going to equal 48 at the end of the day. All right, now a few hints. Um, every Again, every log button assumes that you have uh, base 10. And the other big bit of news is you do not, when you're working with your calculator, you do not want to round, you don't want to clear, you just want to make sure you have the number, you take the log of it, you're going to get a really long decimal part of your number, just keep it all in your calculator. And then you're going to divide the next um, log of the base, and you're going to get a really long number, and then you hit the equals sign. And that is when you're going to get the right number. And I would also recommend that the final answer, that's the one that you round. So you round the final answer. And I'd say um, two decimal places in general, unless you're asked otherwise. All right, we have another example here. It is the log base 18 of 4. And we have to evaluate this. So what is this equal to? Okay, so we're going to use the change of base. If you want to just pause it and see if you can figure it out, that's a great idea. Basically, how we do this is we're going to take the log of 4 and divide it by the log of the base, which is 18. Remember, so the reason why I'm showing you this example is because a lot of people want to put the larger number on the top in the numerator, but it's not the way you want to do it. You always have to remember that the denominator has the log of the base in, in, uh, in it. So definitely remember that. So again, we assume that this has a base each, uh, this change of base rule means we're rewriting it in this way so we can solve it. So we can get right into our calculator. We type in 4 and then the log button. For the numerator, we get like 0 0.602, something like that. And then we're going to divide it by um, the log of 18. And we get, for the log of 18, we get like 
255, etc., etc., but you have to hit the equals button at the end. And you should get 0 0.48 as your answer. Okay? So again, this is going to be 0 0.48. What does this mean in terms of an exponent? You can rewrite it that way if you want, but just to get a good feel for it, it means that 18 raised to the 0 0.48 power will give us the number 4. That's what it means um, in terms of exponents. All right. Anyway, we figured that one out. Great job for following this. Yay!